Welcome to the No Quit Living Podcast. Our primary objective is to motivate and inspire our listeners to never quit. The reality of life is simple. We all fall. We all fail. At times, we get knocked down. The question is, do we get back up? Are we stronger? Are we better prepared to attain the maximum of our potential? Thank you for joining our No Quit Tribe. As you go for your greatness today, never quit. And remember, we rise by lifting others up. Welcome to episode number 376 of the No Quit Living Podcast. I'm your host, Christopher J. Worth, and today's theme of the day is decision versus action. Our quote of the day comes to us from Tony Robbins. A real decision is measured by the fact you've taken a new action. If there's no action, you haven't truly decided. The best time to prepare for 2023 is now. If you are looking to make 2023 better than 2022, we would love it if you took a look at our new Clear Planner. Think journal, planner, calendar, and a goal tracker all in one. Make 2023 your best year yet and head on over to theclearplanner.com. A couple years ago, I was listening to one of our former guests, Dr. Gilbert, talk about decisions versus action on his daily podcast, The Success Hotline, and it really got me thinking. I don't fully remember the exact story or riddle word for word, but I'll try to repeat it to the best of my ability. Dr. Gilbert often challenges his listeners with questions, riddles, and quotes. And on a specific day, he shared a riddle about six frogs. The gist of that riddle was based upon there were six frogs sitting on a log. And Dr. Gilbert asked if three of those frogs decided to jump off, how many frogs would be left? He timed the question and left a couple of seconds pause for the listeners, I believe, to either answer the question out loud to themselves or answer it in their own mind. I thought for a couple of seconds, and I answered out loud, and I said to myself, three. A second or two later, Dr. Gilbert spoke, and he said three, correct, which I assumed was the right answer, but he immediately said wrong. If there are six frogs sitting on a log, and three of them decide to jump off, that still leaves all six frogs on the log, because none of them actually took the action and jumped off. Now, I know this lesson from Dr. Gilbert was just a riddle about six frogs, but his lessons are always so much more than what they appear. I don't remember what Dr. Gilbert said next because my mind started to think about those things in my own life that I've made a decision on, but ultimately, I did not take action on those decisions. I was initially introduced to Dr. Gilbert by a good friend of mine and a former three-time guest of ours, Brian Kane. Brian was also the first person that introduced me to the power of reflection and how it can really improve both your personal and professional life. So with reflection in mind, I'd like to pose a very simple question to you. How many decisions did you make in 2022 that you did not follow up with by taking action? Think about that for a minute. Think about those decisions, the ones you did take action on, but also those decisions that you just pushed or left to the side. I asked myself this same question while I was putting together some notes for this episode, and it really got me thinking. So I would encourage you to either pause this episode right now for a couple minutes, or perhaps when we are finished with today's episode, take some time to think about those decisions you made over this past year. When I think more about this idea of decision versus action, my mind wanders a bit. And one thing that keeps coming to me is the idea that it is easier to make a decision than it is to take action. Think about that for a second. Think about all those decisions we make every day. Think about all those thoughts we have every day. Maybe those thoughts are about our goals, dreams, our job, fitness, or maybe our future. When it comes to thinking about those things, it's easy to dream about them. That's the easy part. The hard part, which I think is also the most important part, is the action. The action you decide to take as well as the action that you decide not to take. If success in life is supposed to be as simple as do things, learn from them, and repeat, then why do so many of us get caught up in the cycles of laziness, self-sabotage, and procrastination? Is it maybe the fear of the unknown? Perhaps it's the uncertainty of if we can actually accomplish that goal or task? I'm sure we could come up with a million different reasons, excuses, or ideas why some people take action and some people don't. But at the end of the day, I feel the biggest disconnect comes down to truly how bad you want something and ultimately the price you are either willing or not willing to take. Now, I know it is super cliche, but nobody has ever accomplished anything of true significance without taking both action as well as a chance. 
When I look back a couple years ago in my life, when I was not in very good shape, what I now realize about that time is that I did make a decision to get in better shape. I wanted to both look and feel better, but I did not take the action. I said I wanted to get in better shape. I know that I wanted to feel better about the way I looked. But at that point in my life, clearly, as I look back, I was not willing to put in that work required at that time. I recently came across a great quote by John F. Kennedy that stood out to me. The time to repair the roof is when the sun is shining. I read and reread that quote quite a few times, and eventually I also wrote it down in my journal. Now, I'm not sure when John F. Kennedy said that quote, but I think it goes along perfectly with the theme of today's podcast. Let's assume that a couple of weeks ago, you had a tiny leak in your roof and you realize that your roof needs to be fixed before it becomes either a bigger issue or a major problem down the road. At that moment, you made a decision that you knew that your roof needs to be repaired, but what you do next defines the level of importance that roof has in your life. You making that initial decision, yes, that is important and it is the first step, but if you don't take that next step, it almost completely negates your initial decision. I recently read an article that said we make up to 35 decisions or choices each day. Now, I know some of those choices are as trivial as what we will eat for breakfast or maybe what we're going to wear, but many of those other more important decisions we make can truly have a profound impact not only on our day, but potentially our life as well. My one suggestion on our daily decisions and ultimately the action we do or don't take would be to prioritize the most important decisions we need to make. Something that is not really important at all should not come before something that is incredibly important. It reminds me of a, of a quote by Stephen Covey. The main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. To wrap up today's episode, and as we are heading into 2023, I would like to personally challenge each and every one of you to look back upon those decisions you made this past year. As you think back, which decisions did you act upon and which ones did you not? Instead of only focusing on what action you didn't take, why not challenge yourself to be more intentional with the decisions you do make in 2023 and ultimately the action you take that coincides with those decisions? We can't do everything at once, but we can do something right now. So take action on your decisions today. And remember, we rise by lifting others up. And lastly, to our listeners, thank you. We truly appreciate your time, and we hope our episodes inspire you to keep on attacking life and never giving up. To quote Dr. Norman Vincent Peale, it's always too early to quit.